Hello, everybody. Welcome to race 17 of the Air and Tibulus Depart Cup Series. Chase race number two. Boy, how we've already had an interesting chase so far. It's only been one race. Noah Hart won. Last one at California is your full stater, so he's going to gain an extra two points for, well, something. I guess you should say the best driver outside the chase, but he's got Luke Duncan on his outside. Got Nick Carrera, his cousin, and his Steve, Jeffrey Buckeye, and then James Rivera, Michael Blom, making up road number three. And here we go, green flag is out at Texas. My home track. Woohoo, there's cars outside, that's just great, that's fine and dandy. No, Hart's taking a good gap with Nicholas Carrera already on the move to take it down. Trying to become a three-time winner, the first one. Now there's Rare on his inside, looking to take the lead. Rare looking for his first win. Same for Jeffrey Buckeye. The outside, the Rare dives down the inside. Charlie goes down to the bottom. Try to go for fourth, and now Jeffrey Buckeye makes it three wide for first place. Now he's side by side with Nicholas Cabrera. Oh, we got a lot of chase drivers moving up through the field already. Trevor Brosis, Mason Wood, and Nate, Nate Mace. Oh, Pipe Brosis dives down to the inside. With help from his teammate, Mason Wood. Come. A little teamwork from the Ganassi guys. I mean, ah, uh, the Earnhardt guys, god dang it, English today, English. And now Nick Mace is trying to extend his point lead further, he has a 7 point lead over Mason Wood. We need to drive around. Pretty clean thus far. Up. Well, we're gonna watch the teammates Valier. Once they cleared that up, we'll have to look at where some people that we haven't seen yet are. I haven't seen the planter. Uh Jacob Waller. Either of those guys yet. Or Daniel Day. Other oh, Waller. Mason Wood now dives down below his teammate. Megan Atkins now with a charge on both of them. Atkins is fast right now. She's very fast. She's gonna run a good time here, I bet. Very fast time. One of the fastest times of the day. Now she's battling with Mason Wood. It's Richard Johnson. He's fourth in points. Don't Schwalmer trying to get under Eric Silverfox, they're set full as well. Atkins to the lead now. Alright, that's too good for... Okay, that's not for... Four. Well, there's Austin the plan. The plan slowly working his way up there. Oh, he almost wrecked there for a second. That would have been bad. Well, there's a plan, oh boy. Honestly, if you want to fall back, you gotta fall back like now. Oh boy, a lot of good racing so far. Everyone's giving each other room and such. Now Cody Lom is getting himself in the mix once again. Tell you what, that 25 knows where to just sticks his business everywhere. Like he can't win, but he just gets up to the front either way. And now, 
such cold, don't Schwalberg and Megan Atkins have pulled away. None of these three chase drivers. Jacob Lawler now, he's on the move. Lawler is going to need a, another good finish. He's third in the points. He could close up the gap on Mace if he gets a good finish. There's Michael Block. He's trying to move his way up. That middle line is very fast. Sometimes. Battling continues on. Oh boy. A lot of passing so far. Now we got two we got two Hendrick, one Penske. It's, that does not sound right at all, especially when the Penske's a female. That sounded very wrong and now Crystal on is gonna yell at me. But now case and now Tony Lamas is trying to get below Dylan Schwalmer and we'll send Casey Mears. Speaking of Casey Mears, here comes Seth Cole, he's a Casey Mears fan. Now Lawler's getting in there as well. A win for Lawler would boost that team up in points. But, either way, he's very consistent. Daniel Day. Daniel Day finished second to last. Which wasn't a very good finish for him. Considering how much points he's now going to have to make up. And now, Lawler getting passed by Eric Silverfox here. Eric Silverfox has been the front a couple times. Never was fast enough to seal the deal. Lawler's fighting on the outside though, not gonna give up entirely. Oh, Charles Sanfer, I thought he was making three wide for a second there. Lawler trying to get that outside line to work. Seems like it's slightly worked, but it hasn't completely worked. Just up, no caution yet. Oh boy, that's not good. Mason Wood has fallen all the way to almost last place. He's about to go to last place here in a second. Well, Nick Mays charges through the field. Along with Michael Block. Richard Johnson. Oh boy. Oh, they're dicing. A lot of dicing right now. Everyone making moves. We're halfway there. Oh my goodness. That's Dylan Young trying to get to his teammate, Eric Sorfox. Dylan Young's in the chase as well. He's, let's see, 29 points behind Nick Mace. Oh boy, Nick Mace is charging rapidly. He's got also the plan helping him. Dylan Young wants to win this chase. He's gonna have to pull, pull something. The last thing he wants is another bad finish, which could probably put him out of the chase already. Oh boy, Richard Johnson's making his moves already. He's trying to get up there. He's currently 15 points behind Nick Mace. Look for it. Him would be quite helpful, I'd say. Oh, they're in a little trouble there. Now Daniel Day is down on the inside. Oh, that middle line, it works sometimes. Got Nick Mace down to the bomb load day. Mr. Johnson has always been known as a late charger. Comes out of nowhere to win races. several different leagues. Of course, he, of course, he won with the help of Daniel Day. Looks like wrong because they're next to each other. Now Nick Mays charging up there. 
Oh boy. Another solid top five for Mike McMaska. Make him a good shot at the championship for sure. But I don't think also the plant's gonna want that. I mean, the plant's gonna take any good finish he can, but. Sometimes a good finish doesn't mean you're even gonna stand your ground against now Dylan Young has moved up and is trying to get past Noah Hart. Got single file for now. Sorta. Of. Seems more more straighter than usual. Tell you what, that middle line is working because Cody Long has got a huge burst of speed over Buckeye there. Oh! Oh, the caution was out. Yeah, I did not see that coming. The caution got through. Oh, God, my good luck. Okay. Oh, this deserves a replay. I see slight damage on Michael Block. That's, that's not good. Alright. Yep. Alright, well, let's take a look at the replay and see what happened to him. Well, if there's one team owner that's gonna be bad, it's gonna be Richard Childress. Look at this. Yep. Well, not a very um, classy move by said call there. Angel DeBarro got involved even though she absolutely did nothing. So that's a fortune for Michael Block and Angel DeBarro, but I think they may be able to continue, so let's go see if they're about to go green again. Well, if you're not a if you're not a Chevy fan, you're gonna like this top four because it's made up of no Chevys until Nick Mace sees a fifth. And if you're behind Nick Mace, which everyone in the chase is, then you are not going to be one happy person. Wood is second in the points, and he is all the way back to 20th place. Well, 19. So Michael Flock did not DNM more than Angel Rivera, so. so here we go. We're gonna go back to green here. Eric Sofox is leading with Noah Hart behind him. Green flag. And Texas. Oh, awesome the plan. Made quick work of Nick Mace there. Oh my, they really did. The player really did not want Nick Mace to make any passes, I can tell you that. Here comes Noah Hart to the inside of Eric Storbox. Come on, man, give him some room, give him some room. Now, got two Roushes storming that Red Bull car. Young sticking himself into Noah Hart's bumper there. That sounded horribly wrong. Oh, Austin the play. Daniel Day, they're both chasers trying to get up to the front. Dylan Young trying to pull off his second win as he hugs the bumper of Noah Hart. Oh boy, oh boy. Young is taking his time. I guess he's waiting for something, but Daniel Day is charging at the moment. The 83 car seems like he's faster than the 16, but the 16 just can't seal the deal. Or no Arch is good at blocking. So we got three and a half laps to go here. Well, two and a half actually. Here comes Daniel Day to the inside of Dylan Young with the help of Austin the plant. Do they have enough time to get to Noah Hart? Noah Hart trying to become a consecutive winner. I think he actually might do it. I don't think they have enough time to catch up to him. I don't think they do. It's just going to be a battle for second for chase points, but... 
Oh, no, Harsh has got to take it easy and drive it home. He's got this in the bag. Trying to get the full 27 points. Oh, Daniel Day not going to have any of it, though. He's going to try and get one last push, but I don't think he has enough time to do so. But I've been wrong before. I've been wrong a lot of times. Here comes Daniel Day with a final charge on the Noah Hart. Going to be a fatal attempt. Coming out of turn four. Daniel Day dives down the Lillian side. Can he make it? No! Noah Hart wins at Texas Mars Speedway. Back-to-back -back wins for Noah Hart. Austin the plant. Daniel Day, both going to get a good points day. Same for Dylan Young. Same for Travis Brosis and Jacob Lawler. And Mason Wood was catching up to Nick Mace. A couple more laps he would have gotten to him, but... A lot of chasers who were struggling behind a point are definitely going to get a, a good boost from that, so... Where did Lawler finish? Lawler finished two positions ahead of Nick Mace, so that's progress if you want the points leader to go down. But Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this race. Here are your results and points. We'll see you guys next time where we'll be going to Mossport.